Have you ever really messed up with a smoky eye and ended up looking like you've been punched in the face? I know what happens. You start small and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. My name is Victoria Penrose. I'm a makeup artist for celebrity and TV, and I'm gonna show you how to do a classic smoky eye. A classic smoky eye needs a good base to start on. I like just to do a lovely light cream wash all over the lid. A classic smoky black eye has no cut crease. It is a solid colour all the way around the lid, underneath the lower lash line and in the waterline. That's what we're going to do now, but before that final black stage, I'm just going to put a lovely mid-tone brown just into the socket line. By doing this, you've got a base for the black to adhere to, and it just softens the whole eye. When you're doing a smoky eye, it's so common to get all that black drop down onto your cheekbones. There's a couple of ways around this. You could either do your foundation afterwards. I don't love to do that. I like to see the foundation on before I continue the eyes. You can put some loose powder underneath your eye and then dust it all off at the end. Or what I more commonly do is just fold up a little piece of tissue and just let that place underneath the eye and shut before I go in with my black. So we're building up a really beautiful smoky eye. We're really getting that wing definition and blending it through. But a classic smoky eye is where we actually bring the black all the way across the lid and don't have any lightness on the eyelid. So I'm gonna go in and build up that proper smoky black eye now. I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow, take the tissue underneath the eye, and I'm gonna really work my brush back and forth, just sticking to the lid, and I'm actually letting the eyeball guide me so my brush is going into the socket back and forth until it comes right into the inner tear duct. So your solid black eyeshadow is now all over the lid. But what I like to do is get a clean blending brush and just work through those edges just to make sure there's not any harsh lines. It looks so much more professional when you really blend those edges in. When there's a hard line, it just looks really cheap and fake. So we're really starting to build that smoky eye in now, but to really ring the whole eye with black, I need the model to look up for me. I'm gonna put the tissue underneath, use an angle brush and some black eyeshadow just to get underneath those lashes and softly bring that whole eye together. So we've just finished that bottom line and I think it can look a little bit hard if it's just left as a strong line. I like to go with another clean brush and just soften that bottom line up a bit. It just looks a bit more smoky and a bit more sultry. So you could actually just go in with your eyeliner now, you could do the waterline, you could do the lash line, but I'm just gonna add to my smoky eye by putting on a lovely coppery metallic shade onto the lids and underneath the eye, just to give it a little bit more interest and really make it vamp up for the evening. To be able to pick up my metallic eyeshadow, I'm gonna set a little bit of setting spray onto my blending brush. just taking the same colour that I've just washed over the lids and I'm just going to bring that underneath the lash line as well and almost down a little bit further than I did with the black. Really looks so evening, so sultry, really glossy. So that would be a smoky eye finished at this point but I don't think it's really done until the piece de resistance, the gel liner. I absolutely love a really strong feline flick on a smoky eye. I know it isn't for everybody. Some people find it hard to do and some eyelids are too small to take it. But Charlie's got the best eye, so I'm gonna have a little go. And I'm just using that angle to guide me down from her outer corner all the way along to her inner eye. And then I'm gonna flip and reverse and take from the inner eye all the way to the middle. So I'm joining both sides up. Nothing makes a smoky eye look more piercing than coal on the waterline. Charlie, if you look up for me, I'm putting the waterline down and just rimming with some black coal, all the way from the inner tear duct to the outer corner. 
It can be a really uncomfortable feeling, but I love putting coal in my upper waterline, which is underneath the lashes. You know what's missing, loads of back mascara. Look down, really wiggle it into that lash line. It really finishes off that whole look and pulls all the black around the eye together. Just like before when we added some bronze onto the lid, I'm going to add a little bit of champagne highlight to the inner eye. And again, I'm going to spray some setting spray onto my little fine brush and dip that into my eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to apply that to a little pop just onto the tear duct. As early as 4000 BC, Egyptians were using coal to rim their eyes to protect from the sun. And if it's been going for that long, a smoky eye must be a bit of a classic. All of our tomorrow's trying to come up with a plan. We don't call up information because they don't know what we say. No one, no one knows. No one, no one knows. We all woke up in the upside down, turning inside out like we've all been. Thank you so much for watching one of my favorite looks of all time. See you on the next one.